My name is Julene Zirath. I'm a professor of physiology at the Karolinski Institute. I'm a member of the Nobel Assembly and an adjunct member of the Nobel Committee for Physiology or Medicine. This year, over 400 individuals were nominated for the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. And pretty much every year, about 25% of the candidates that have been nominated are individuals who've never been nominated before. 75% are individuals who've been nominated at least one year earlier or more. And what we need to do is by the first Monday of October to narrow that list to no more than three. And so pretty soon you'll be able to hear who will be or who are the Nobel laureates in physiology in medicine. So we have a really um, narrow criteria for selecting Nobel laureates in physiology or medicine. And this was outlined by Alfred Nobel himself in his will. And he specifically stated that what we should be looking for is an individual who has made a discovery and that discovery should have conferred a great benefit on humankind. So it's not a lifetime achievement award. It's not a popularity contest. It goes to an individual, one up to three, who have made a discovery. The discovery should be a new paradigm or a paradigm shift. So that's what we look at. Pretty narrow, but pretty big. Oftentimes people ask, do you have to be a Nobel laureate to be on the Nobel Assembly? And the answer is no. Um, the requirement is that you're a professor at the Karolinski Institute and that you are working actively in the fields of physiology or medicine. But there's no requirement that to select a Nobel laureate, you need to be a laureate. I think one of the most exciting parts of the whole year for me in the work around the Nobel Prize is when we finally select the candidates and we have the chance to really reveal that information to the whole world. I mean, that is really an exciting moment. And um, oftentimes it's met with just great glee and huge interest to the field of physiology or medicine. So I think that that's really a lot of fun to share those great stories and help people understand more about the great discoveries that these individuals have made. Everywhere I go, everybody's asking me, hey, can you tell me who's gonna receive the Nobel Prize this year? Well, all I can say is stay tuned. We are not allowed to disclose that, but um, in only a matter of moments, you'll be able to hear for yourself. So stay tuned. <laughs>